All right, well, hey there, guys. Weedman here. Uh, now, I'm a little bit sick today, so please bear with me. But um, today, I'm going to be talking about quitting weed and quitting smoking, which I know is kind of ironic, uh, given my name and my whole like persona on this channel, essentially. But quitting smoking has been something that's been on my mind for quite a while now, um, probably about a year or so. It, it's been something that's kind of been like a lingering feeling of something that I should do and something that I kind of need to do to better my life and to move on. Now, obviously, when I say stuff like that, I wasn't like completely debilitated by it. You know what I mean? I wasn't like in a vegetative state all day, every day. Like I could still hold down a job and friends and, you know, do this channel and all that. And obviously I know that stuff is a little bit more associated with like hardcore drugs, like heroin or meth, where it's like, that's all you do all day, every day. But I do think there's a certain like population of people that it does kind of do that for them where it's like, they're that's all they do. You know what I mean? Like I remember Hallmark told me about a friend that he had that he literally would have to like do like six dabs or something before he goes into work every day. And he would literally just work, smoke, and go home and do absolutely nothing. I never wanted to be like that. And so I always made sure I never got that way. And I would never get that way, you know what I mean? Even if I was, you know, still smoking heavily. Now at my peak, I definitely was smoking. Um, not quite all day, but definitely every day. Every day, uh, once I got home for the night and I wasn't going anywhere, I would smoke. Um, and sometimes if I, like, didn't have work or whatever, I would, like, hit a stizzy a couple times throughout the day. Um, like if I skated or whatever. Uh, there was a little bit that I would smoke, like an hour or so before work, so that way the, like, physical effects of it would wear off, but, like, the mental, like, calmness of it would still be there. Uh, I only did that for a short period, and then I did ended up not liking it. I did that for maybe, like, a month, if that. Now, my heavy days, those were, those were, like, six months ago. If not, no, those were probably a year ago, I think, at this point, honestly, or my really, really heavy days. Um, and then as time went on, honestly, because this channel, I just got way too busy for it. You know what I mean? Like I just didn't have the time for it, like between work and the channel and friends and girlfriend and all that. I just, I didn't have time for it. You know what I mean? So I slowly just started facing it out over time and I didn't really want to in the beginning, you know, because I still did enjoy it and I still, I still do enjoy it for all intents and purposes, but I just slowly started facing it out over time and I noticed the less I did it kind of the better I felt, you know what I mean? Um, and then I had a couple periods where I went on like a little bit longer extended periods of not doing it, like two, three weeks or whatever. Uh, now, take typically two weeks, typically two weeks would be my amount that I'm like, All right, I'm good now, you know what I mean? And I noticed whenever I was at the end of those two weeks that it felt better being sober consistently, you know what I mean? And also it made me realize just how anxious it was making me, you know what I mean? Because like I didn't really realize it when I was like doing it heavily, but that stuff was making me like really, really anxious and making me have like essentially panic attacks. I don't really want to call them that because it wasn't like, I wasn't like balled up in a corner hyperventilating, you know what I mean? But I would have moments of panic, you know what I mean? I, I didn't realize it. I just, I didn't realize that that's what that was until I like stopped doing it and then started doing it again. Now, currently, as of this recording, I am about one month since I've had anything. And honestly, I feel really good. I feel a lot like more clear headed. I feel a lot more present in my day to day life. Like I feel like I'm actually here, you know what I mean? Um, I feel like I can think clearer, think faster. I feel like I'm smarter. You know what I mean? Because that was the other thing is I felt that it genuinely was making me kind of stupid because I was like basic things would just like kind of confuse me a little bit more and it would make tasks like harder. You know what I mean? Like, like things that required mental energy harder, like physical energy was whatever. Cause I couldn't really feel my body. So it's like, I whatever, just fucking bang it out and do it. You know what I mean? But for like mental tasks, it would like slow me down, slow down my thinking process. And towards the end, I like actually hated that. Like the last couple times that I had like smoked and I tried to like edit or something, I realized how much slower it was making me and I genuinely hated it. Just because I hate that feeling of being slowed down by something, you know what I mean? I want to just go and go and go and I want to do things good and do things proper. And so to have something like that that's entirely optional for me to do uh, was slowing me down, I just didn't like it. I, you know, I, I just, I hated it. That genuinely is probably the biggest reason. That and obviously the anxiety and the you know, kind of being disassociated constantly. So th those are those are really the main reasons that I've stopped smoking. Also the money, like that is an expensive habit to do. I mean, obviously it's not as expensive as other habits. And as long as you're not like going balls to the wall, you can spend maybe 40, 50 bucks a month on it. 
uh, if not less, depending on what you do. Obviously, there's different avenues to do, but regardless, it's an expensive habit to do, especially because it's not needed. You know what I mean? Obviously, for some people, they use it medicinally and all that. And I did in the beginning. That's the whole reason I started was because medicinally, because like body pain and anxiety and all that. And it did help, you know what I mean? But after a certain point, I don't know if I just did too much or did it for too long or whatever, but it, it like stopped helping me with the anxiety and started making it worse. Um, and even a month off, I don't really feel the body pain anymore. I think it's because I started going to the gym and going to the gym just naturally helps with joint pain and all of that. But it's an expensive habit and I'm saving a lot more money not doing it. And I'm at a point right now in my life where I would rather prioritize money and savings and security than having a good time. So for those reasons, I think I'm going to be pretty much stopping it. Uh, I might still do it here and there, like if I'm at a friend's party or whatever. Um, I do currently have a pre-roll that I've been just been saving. Because last time I picked up, I got, I don't remember all what I got because this was a couple months ago. But I got a pre-roll and I say this will be the last thing I have for a fat minute. And so that's what I'm going to do. And I just haven't had a... Just a, I just haven't had a proper night to use it. You know what I mean? Like I've always been either closing at work so I get home at like 1 a.m. Or I have to be up early the next day or I have work the next day or whatever. So I just haven't had a proper time to use it. Uh, so I don't know when that's going to be, but it, it will be. I'm, I'm trying to do sooner rather than later uh, just so I can get past it and just move on. You know what I mean? Technically, I don't even need to use it. I could just give it to a friend. But I don't know. It feels wasteful even though it's not. I don't know, I might not even use it. But as of right now, I am about a month off of it, and I'm feeling really good about my decision. And I am glad I'm doing this, and I really want to keep doing it. Uh, because like I said, I just, I want to be focused right now. I want to be coherent. I want to be smart right now. Um, I want to be as functional as I can, and I want to, I just want to be the best person I can right now. And I feel that that stuff was slowing me down and making me dumb. So there's that. So I think with that, that'll go ahead and do it for this minute for this miniature depression session. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed. I hope you guys learned something. Uh, if you guys have any thoughts, questions, or comments on what I talked about, feel free to comment them down below. I respond to every single comment, um, or at least I will be getting better about that. So with that, that'll go ahead and do it for this episode. Thank you guys so, so much for watching. Come back every Monday, Wednesday, Friday at 12 p.m. for another video. And remember that just like this podcast, depression is just a session, and it too soon shall pass. We'll go ahead and see you guys back here next episode. Goodbye.